hello guys my name is Vijay and in this tutorial what we are going to do is we are going to do a form data request yes so you know before like <coughs> before this tutorial what we have done is we have just sent the uh, you know pure uh, request body but in some of the scenario uh, you might want to send a uh, form data you know uh, all your key value stores like uh, I mean key value data stored in terms of form values and you want to send it and you want server to capture it and you want to reply I guess right okay so in this tutorial what we are going to do is we are going to create a button and when you click the button uh, it will uh, create a form body instead of request body and it will send to server and get the response okay in the form data what uh, we are going to just you know add two uh, fields uh, as an example but uh, you can uh, you know add whatever you want according to the rule of HTTP uh, I guess yeah so I set up uh, so okay uh, let's get started then so I set up uh, the button in the UI okay let me just create object in the Java ID form request okay I might need to do casting okay cool it's done I guess yeah, so all I need to do is go here guess dot form dot request if the ID is this just create new thread you runnable and we'll start the thread because we are doing synchronous requests since as I told you before you know if whenever you are doing synchronous request Android UI will not allow you to do any long running task on the main thread so you're gonna have to create the thread and do all those you know nitty gritty details whatever <laughs> task that you're doing in order to get back the response okay then so in here what we are going to do <coughs> is call the function do form data request okay let's now create the function inside of main activity okay so as I told you before <coughs> it's a sequential process first of all you need to create okay HTTP client client is equal to new simple right okay then you create you need to because you need to do the request you need to create a payload request body <coughs> but here it will uh, differ you know uh, like instead of creating a new request body you need to create new uh, form body I guess yes yeah form body dot builder yes you need to import it okay now there is a uh, function called add you have to add key and values okay so here let me just go to the server code the server code is written in uh, Golang so if you don't know just don't worry so whenever I'm going to call that function it will call this function uh, from the server side okay and what we are expecting is a name and age so here I'm uh, you know uh, like uh, getting the value from the form so it's like uh, this is the request object and out of the request object I'm getting the form value then the key of the form value is the name and other one is age so server is expecting you know uh, name and age right so name uh, is going to be string and age is going to be integer so let's just put it name is going to be my name is vj bania or vj you can call me vj i like it <laughs> other field i can add age i'm 24 dot build done okay so here is the thing 
you can set all the value as a string only so you gotta have to wrap it using string dot value of yeah so i might need to change the server code i guess yes sir because i'm expecting string now well you can convert uh, from the server side you know okay and this will not be the case anymore uh, sorry guys i'm doing some server coding i hope you don't mind let me compile this server again this is the server thing oh shit okay oh yes yes i've imported this you know go is quite strict about the kind of thing that we are importing doesn't matter okay we have compiled let's run the server it's uh, okay it's a bit dude boom here you can see the server is up and running and wait for the request okay now you just don't touch the server because it's not server related details i guess okay let's build a request now request request is equal to new request dot build right okay dot url i might need to get the base url from the other methods i'm sorry i really put you know remembering things okay i'm putting here this is my local address where my the go server is running and waiting for the request what is the endpoint let me just check it out the endpoint is form data i'll just copy it and i'll just paste it got it so i'll pass url as a string then i need to do some data so the post will be the request body will be the form body in this case dot oh sorry it's a builder so we gotta build it yeah so this is your request is ready let's just do get the response response how you're going to get the response from the client you have to do new call with the request and you have to do execute because you are doing the synchronous request thing it might throw errors so you have to surround with try catch okay when you get the response what is your responsibility to print the response yeah we have to do all things logging because that that's we are going to know right okay here i'm going to put something like form body sorry form body created okay http3 so i'm going to change it by doing this because you know all the other things are coming out so vj cute so i'm going to give this name now why because I, I don't know i just whatever you want you can give in you know android so i don't need to tell you i guess <laughs> okay request created good right Mm, response successfully arrived perfect now i need to put here also because if you are going to get any exception or something i might need to get notice right exception curl while doing form data request and what might be the exception i need to print it out oh sorry i just copy and paste it yeah it's the best way control c control v <laughs> to string right okay now i also need to know what response i got it will be the same you know status okay and uh, data request successful or something like that but still oh sorry response dot body dot string gotcha okay i think all the things are ready let me just you know plug in my uh android phone and uh i'll just uh, okay mm. 
Okay, the mobile phone is plugged in. Mm. Okay, let's just run the application. Okay, this is my mobile phone. Mm. Okay, it's compiling. And if you guys want to know some fun facts, you know, when I'm compiling the program, you can just write it down in the comments. Uh, I would love to, you know, answer those fun facts in the future uh, tutorials, I guess. <laughs> awesome. Well, I'm waiting, you know, what kind of response I'm going to get from this tutorial series. Okay, I think it's running. And what was the take again? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now nothing is coming. So this is going to be fun. I'm doing the request. Okay. Well, as you can see, form body created means we have successfully created our form body. Request created means request is generated. Response successfully arrived means we have successfully done the request. We got the response and the response data is status. Okay, data request successful. Let's go to the terminal. Let's see server got anything. Yes, requested data. We got name that we sent VJ Bambania or VJ, right? And age we sent 24. See, and you can see the speed is microseconds. So it's pretty, pretty fast, I guess. So, yeah. I think that was the uh, form body uh, key value request in the next tutorial I'm going to show you how to send the file yes how to send the file using apps for example if you are uploading some image or you know if you are creating apps related to uh, some binary uh, transformation of data or uh, you know binary file trans uh, transferring or image uploading which is or music uploading or, you know anything that can be uh, uh, related to files you can do with the form data uh, multi-part form data uh, uh, of the HTTP I guess right okay so see in the next tutorial I guess thank you please and if yes uh, if you like the tutorial please comment you know if you see that I need to improve some things uh, you can just let me know on the comment box and you can subscribe that would be fun I guess okay